In today's episode, we feature the story of Lucas Swanyama, a Kenyan karateka who's using his talent in karate to positively impact the society. My name is uh, Lucas Wanyango Wanyama from Busia County. Uh, I was born in Bukulumi village. Yeah. Like for instance, currently, I'm, I'm staying at Madare. Maybe like whatever I'm doing, I normally work with G4S in in K9 unit. That means na na dogs. I train dogs, na work na dogs. Yeah. But apart from that, uh, karate is is my passion. That's why no kitu ambayo kila siku na yeka kipaumbele. Nimezaliwa kwa familia ya watu saba wasichana wawili then we are five boys i'm the last born my elder brother lives in mombasa he's the one who took me to school in two or, in in 204 is when i joined high school that was uh, buhalare boys high school in 204 february then i completed my high school in the year 207 yeah 207 then got a mini grade of C minus. Then I started uh, doing some sort of mobile charging. Nilianza kuchaji simu to the nearest market center, which is called Ikonzo, Ikonzo Market. Nimeka kwa hiyo market, niki wanafanya mambo na charging. Nika kuja nika wana charging peke yake, ilikuwa iko chini. I opted to start at least uh, something like shaving. Then nika fungua kinyozi. The same year. Growing up, Lucas Wanyama faced a number of odds among them, the loss of his father. Wanafanya hivyo ni kikana mamu. Because my dad, uh, my dad died in the year 1988. Ikufika 2012, uh, uh, nilikuja nika kuwa na, na nafasi ya kuanzisha security, security group kwa market. Then the same that year, 2012, is when niliona advert kwa mba G4S ma imesema inataka watu waneza apply. I applied. I was shortlisted, but when I was called to come to Wheat Road, Nairobi, I could not have, I could not manage to get fare. Ya kukuja. Ndiyo hiyo nafasi kanipita. After three, kitu three months hivi, nikasikia kumetangazwa kisumu, YMCA, near Sitam, kwamba wanataka G4S. Nikaenda, na kwa sababu ya bati mzuri nilifika huko. Everything, hiyo process yote, nilipitia na nikachukuliwa. That was 2012, then I was uh, told to report to Mumias. My journey in karate started in 2012, mwezi wa tisa, hapo nili meet Simon Onyango. He was a G4S instructor, and alikuwa in charge of physical fitness, G4S company, because it was a mandatory for every, for every G4S uh, uh, employee kufanya mazwezi on Friday. The word karate, yeah, it was derived from a combination of two words. The first word was kanji from Japan. It is called it is called kanji. It means Chinese character. The second word is called kara. It means empty hand. Is uh, an armed combat of using an armed combat of using uh, our feet, hand, in punching, kicking, but. It is only practiced, mostly it is mostly, mostly practiced for the sake of sport. To now train. The only the only way ambao wana wako allowed kuenda ku compete favorably ni wakati wa sports, but we we don't advocate mtu kupig, kupigana. Many youth in informal settlements are faced with challenges such as poverty and unemployment, which lead to many social ills. I used to trek kutoka kibira. Paka kaha waste, by then nikuwa nafanya na dogi, wakati mungine na bebuwa na gari ya dogi. But I used to trek. Sikuwa na jiwa building yoyote na Nairobi hapa, apart from KCC na Taskis. E, nilifanya hivyo for one month. Nikakuja nikajiambia, 
if ndakuwa natembea hivi kila siku hii kazi itanishinda tanitoroke ndo nikamo one day nikauliza kazi ya kufanya ya jua kali unskilled manpower to do with the cabros hizi maweza kupanga kwa apartments then nikapata watu ambao wakasema we can at least eh, absorb you huwe unafanya mchana tunakurelease mapema unaenda job badala ya kuwa unarudi kibira then i agree i agreed hapo sasa ilikuwa ni madare for we. madare ni ya utalii ni ya utali college life ya ghetto ya, as, for example madare uko sa place me na ka vijana na mingle nao life iko huko si life rahisi ni life rough number one Uh, kuna tuseme like for example sa parents uh, they are unstable financially sa wakati unapata wazazi ya wako stable wakati mwingi wanautumia huo wakati kwenda kuhasol wakati wanaenda kuhasol huku nyuma they, do, they are not caring about family so much kwa sababu wakati mwingi anatumia kwenda kutafuti watoto lishe lishe bora kwa sababu hawajaishi maisha poa na kwa sema kama kwa slums sasa hii slums iko very risky kwa sababu number one kuna congestion watu ni wengi e, vijana hata kama ni wasichana wengi sasa hii wanatumia drugs sana wanatumia drugs na kama saa hii na hiyo drugs watu wanatumia drugs inaleta laziness apart from kuleta laziness inaleta eh, wana inawafanya wanaingia kwa into bad groups na hizo bad groups kwa sababu bad groups kuna vitu mingi hizo groups inako na mambo na starehe starehe inataka pesa na hiyo pesa cause they are, they are not employed sasa inabidi waingie kwa crime As a way of giving back to the society, Wanyama founded St. Benedict Karate Club in Madare where he trains youth and street children. My journey to empower youth ilianza 2015 nikiwa Madare. We have got a social hall near Home Depot ili hiyo ni community based project ambayo ilijengwa kwa assist vijana. Nili approach leaders nikawaambia me I was practicing karate and I think I can still continue with it and through that it is go at least also that the same way I can use that karate to reach to the uh, to the youths local leaders supported me because they saw uh, what I was doing will have a big impact to the community kwa sababu empowering youths like for instance girl child is like educating a whole community uh, my club immigrate sai three immigrate sha my student three times meaning they have been examined by KKF federation and they found them fit to grade is to be examined is like when you learn in a college or in a school after learning una letewa exam when you do that exam with if you don't pass then you don't qualify so grading is like being examined doing an examination which is practical a, a practitioner anaitwa karate na karate haina age provided mtoto wako kuanzia 6 years and above ana learn art ndio mimi nipate kuwasaidia lazima niingie into their shoes uh, like some, something like empathy i must fit into their shoes ni, ni kwanza nijue what they are passing through for instance like they are using drugs then mimi mwenyewe nikuja nijiulize how can i help them wache kutumia drugs so first it was just to at least welcome them when they have at least come i uh, after we have trained we normally give uh, each everybody uh, a chance to express himself talk about his life talk about his challenges talk about zile uh, vitu zenyangependa in his life accomplish then through that obvious kila mtu kuna vitu zenye matazamio yake ni tofauti na na wengine then we continue working towards kwamba ku make sure kwamba at least kila mtu anaweza pata way forward ni vipi anaweza fanya nini anaweza fikia goals zile goals zake zenye yako nazo Lucas Nikochongo fitness tulimita uh, last year 
actually last year ilikuwa perfect time as it to meet cause covid ilikuwa ina bond au semba uh, so i'll introduce his stuff and ili, actually nilipata kaba ni endelea alfajiri alikuwa uko tayari but amekuwa mentor wangu sana kwa life since tupatane amekuwa mse mse tu uko na positive vibes uh, nikunyeka tu on toes back to back fitness na like sana kile mudu na ye. kwa sana imenipatia confidence na courage hakuna uoga uoga mashallah tunajua kishaanza kufanya hizi vitu na kuwa very humble hawezi taka kuvurutana na mtu uh, pia na kupatia confidence in life as in ku face ma vitu mbalimbali uh, na pia health wise mazee imenisaidia sana 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 His love for karate hails back from high school. Wanyama says discipline is key for a karateka. For you to bring light eh, anywhere, you must see light first. So it was my it was my first it was my responsibility at least for me it, I'm the first person who should be more disciplined. Because now whoever I'm going to talk to arataka ku embrace how maybe vile ananiona how i conduct myself vile na move around what i do so convincing these kids is very easy because now we develop friendship we they see i love them they also at least uh, maybe uh, see how i conduct myself so kupata kupata hawa watoto ni rais sana kwa sababu one i'm the I've already mimi nimeona light nimeona umuhimu wa karate so i'm only passing on eh? na nawapatia tu ni kitu napatia is something like like a legacy ni kitu ambayo niko nayo so nawapatia na also karate is something discipline it has got rules like we have got five rules five rules of karate number one, uh, someone should be, be, be faithful two uh, there is an diva and diva means that we should at least work hard in our life at least to become uh, independent we should work hard in our life at least to be to be more productive number three, uh, second now, third rule we should refrain from bad behavior meaning you you cannot become a karateka if you are a bad guy maybe you might have been a bad guy but you must change and that that one must tell us admit that Though I was a bad person lakini nimekubali ku change you should refrain from bad behavior then the another one is someone should seek character perfection lazima mtu akue na tabia mzuri. lazima ukue na tabia mzuri. you cannot be a karateka kama una tabia mzuri. refrain from bad behavior seek character perfection be faithful and diva then the last one we've got to respect people karate goes with respect apart from his moves na nini nini sana sana discipline na cheki mm inafanya niki eh nikiwa na maboys wangu maze as in discipline mbele kwanza na get a story of quarter fraf i die ah uh, uh, kwa sana tena si link na street boys sana 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 na ni wasi ni wasi wanapenda wanapenda kwa rafraf violence violence hivi as in so nikikaa nao chini mimi as in ni kitu ya kuwa show na kitu ya kuwa show as in design hakuna haja kuwa rodi nini nini you can do this and you'll be humble in your life na cheki plus itakusaidia hizi upande wa madre maglu nini um auta kwa that we can shake kama we meet sana sana wengi wao wako shake but through this stuff uh tuko na tuko na success to a success eh wanyama boast of several achievements in his karate journey i've managed kwenda ku participate into Kenya Open that was 2013 it was in social it was at social hall kakamega 2013 i've also attended a uh, Kenya Open Championship at Tuk uh, Nairobi Technical University that was still 2013 yeah the la- and the other one i went it was in Busia 
it was Kenya Open tulikuwa busia then on that day I was number 4 because nilifika semi here in Kenya karate to karate to Kenya hapa tuko na federation it is called KKF Kenya Karate Federation uh, being style is called Shotokan tuko na our president tuko na our president ambaye anaitwa John Owiti he who is the head coach we have got a, 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 a federation I'm an affiliate meaning that I'm a member there uh, based in India Mumbai it's called SKC Shotokan Karate Do there I'm a representative in Kenya here the second one is called Koshkur it is headquarters is in Singapore but uh, it is originated it is originated from Japan mini branch chief BC branch chief representative wa Kenya as a sport karate has its advantages i have more than 3 cases watu wenye wamekuwa asthmatic na through training wamepona bila kupelekwa hospital yeah also we have, we have cases to do with things like sickle cell anemia nimekuwa na watu wengi kuna mmoja i happen to have one alikuwa sickle cell anemia na ukiwa na sickle cell anemia you cannot manage to reach 13 years but when I was training that kid, alifiki, alipelekwa Nairobi Hospital, akaulizwa, "Wewe mtoto anaenda wapi?" Akaambiwa, "Huwa anaenda kufanya kutrain, anafundishwa physical fitness." That's when the doctors told their parents, the parent of the kid that, "Kama mtoto yangu kwa kwamba huwa aendi kufanya physical fitness, angekuwa alishaaga kitambo." Nilitoa ni karate 1 to keep my body fit. 2 for my self defense when it comes to really life situation kwa street wapi when i'm walking i walk as a free man because i know i'm fit and i use my hands and legs as a weapon to defend myself anywhere yeah uh, vijana mtani na so advice wa join karate kama sport na so advice pia join karate because you know keep fit ukifanya hiyo zoezi Makonjo ita taku, iwezi kukaribia because your body is already fit. Na pia wakitu in karate wataza hiyo kukuwa indolness. Kusha fanya zoezi unatoka kwa mechoka. Uwezi sumbwana na watu. Unando unatake shower. Alafu pia discipline. Inakufanya na kuwa more discipline. Because mostly our instructors wanatuambia nga mkisha train. You story back yapo for hall. Kendo uko inje. Kaka mawenzako but avoid mali penye kuna kelele na uchokozi na mambo mengine. Kitrain karate wezi enda kwa ulevi, wezi enda kuvuta bangi, una hiyo time. It is said that nothing good comes easy. Therefore, here are some of the challenges Wanyama has encountered. When you start something, there's that uh, maturity stage kwa sababu nilikuwa ndo wakati nilianzisha nilianzisha karate, you know, to challenges ni mingi. Before you fike hiyo level ya kusema kwamba now you have a team eh, ina kuchukua time kwa sababu you must train them wafike hiyo level ya kuona they can compete favorably it also takes time When asked how bright the future is this is what he says The near future eh, mimi na I'm going to make a big change to the youth kwa sababu they believe in me they believe in what we are doing they have also at least seen the impact of what we are doing because uh, they are in for it, they are doing it. Now, there is something which maybe I have not mentioned. Like for instance, right now, uh, I'm working with street kids. Maybe we have got difference between those kids that are at home and street kids. Now, it is very different. Yeah, I'm working with street kids. Those are streets from Mulango, Isli, Kidurai, Tiarem, Dandora, you can name it. Uh, those streets, maybe, uh, maybe the person who at least, who helped me to know, to know them, is called uh, Lenore. Lenore, the owner of Alfajiri Street Kids. We on the idea kujua Mambona Street Kid. Na, when I met Lenore, we met uh, when I was training kids, Lenore got me when I was training kids at St. Benedict Catholic Church along Thicker Road near NYS headquarters.
he was he, he used to come and just to watch what I was doing every day. Then one day he approached me and Kanyambia Wanyama. I've seen what you're doing is good. I could like when I opened my uh, my organization to give you a chance to, to be interacting with the kids, to at least be helping us, talking to them, because in that way you will be mentoring them. Then I said that will be good. That was uh, two, two or nine. Uh, through Lenore, I've managed to know, to at least uh, know what street kids are passing through, their problems they are facing. Nimeongea now. Yeah, nimekuwa naenda kuwa na watafuta those bases naenda kwa hizo base like for instance like right now mimi am the am the coach mimi ni coach wao last year last year but one I, I managed to train them up to the level that I took them to Nairobi National Museum as my as as as, as a club Al Fajiri Karate Club through me, through, through me. Na, as we, as we speak right now, what all vijana wenye nime manage kutawa kwa street, they are uncounted. As we come to a close, Wanyama does not hesitate to leave a word of advice to the viewer. My advice to uh, the young generation, ni kwamba, let us come together, let us know that, uh, yeah, the greatest wealth on, on earth is your health. And the only project you have is your, your, your life. One count.